Hey guys, you're watching, you one and only, my name is AJ, welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Replica Engine. I would like to apologise for last episode's, what was it, zero frames a second that we had going? It was crazy, I don't know what was going on. It's something to do with OBS, which is the software I've always used to record my videos with. Uh, I've switched softwares, I am now using NVIDIA's own software to record these videos. It's got some pros and it's got some cons. The pros is that I'm recording at like 150, 170 frames per second it's 60 frames a second now as opposed to my 30 that i was recording in uh it, it's really really smooth the downside is though i don't have a face cam uh, i can add a face cam to it however it was a little bit jumpy when i was doing some testing and it doesn't have a green screen or chroma key available to it which means it's just like i get all the background and stuff with me and i don't like that i like just having me in it but don't worry i'll try and figure something about that later on i will talk more in depth about the software issues in obs in my next let's build a city episode so if you're interested in that in either tomorrow or the day after when the next let's build a city episode i will explain a little bit more about what was going on and like how I tried to solve it and stuff in that. I just want to say, how cool does it look like on the little mini map there? There's so much going on. It's all coming together really nicely, apart from the random piston that I've still got there. I really want to get rid of that so it looks cool on here. But today, we're going to be working on the clutch, which goes on the front here. Now, there's a couple of bits that we need. Well, there's one little cog that we need to put on, then the flywheel goes on, and then the clutch goes on. Now, I've got some images here to help me along, but this first little wheel is nice and small and simple. They're all very brownish blocks, so these are going to blend together a little bit, but uh, it shouldn't really matter because we just basically want it to all match and blend in. Let's get some different browns here. Even the black is a, is a very dark shade of brown here. Oh, and by the way, this is, this is with the shaders on that we're getting this frame rate. If I turn the shaders off, we'll probably go even crazier once it all loads up and stuff. Yeah, see, now we're hitting like 108, 200 frames a sec. What? What on earth is going on? How come this software records so smoothly, but OBS chugs me? I, I don't know. I haven't got a clue. So, little tiny wheel on here. It's really not big at all. I'm thinking about something maybe this size. Okay. And uh, I would like to have little holes in it as well if possible just four will do like that maybe have a different color for the middle okay and this is where the bolts are going to be so we'll grab some nice darker ones for the bolts to then join up onto the flywheel which goes on here which is even bigger okay so the flywheel is quite a big circle it's gonna be a little bit awkward to figure out let's go with this brown as it's a little bit different and let's just count out some blocks one two three four five six seven eight blocks eight blocks looks about right one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight okay maybe that's a little bit too long maybe we'll go with seven 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 and then one two three four five six seven now it does go lower than the rest of the engine <laughs> uh difficulty peaceful i have to set it multiple times in an episode uh, also, I could probably turn my sound up here. I had to turn it down for a uh, Let's Build a City video, which you'll see soon. There we go. Just so you can hear the block sounds. So, now we want to try and make this a circle. Now, I can't really use World Edit because World Edit builds a circle around me. I want the circle to be upright. And although we found a sort of way that we could do it on Let's Build a Submarine that time, it really wasn't quick and simple to do. I think it's just going to be easy to eyeball it and just change it if it doesn't quite look right. That looks like a pretty good corner, but you can never really tell until you get them all in. So I've done a three and then a two, then a two ones, a two, oops, and then a three. You know, it looks about right. We're still looking good. Sometimes once you do a half, it doesn't look right and you have to sort of modify it a little bit. But I think we've got a pretty good corner. I've been getting better over the many, many years of doing this kind of stuff. I was never good at, at circles to begin with. I can hear more zombies. Why does it keep changing? 
yeah, I mean, that looks about right. That's a nice flywheel size. So the flywheel has uh, a few different holes in it. Also, it chunks out a little bit at the front here. So let's go over where this little cog was. I don't know what, like, this cog is called. This The, the little brown one that we done first. I, I, I don't know. It's probably, like, the flywheel assembly plate or something like that. Um, and then I'll add those on here. And I'll just poke this out a little bit further. Oops. Look how smooth this is. Why didn't I do this ages ago? Okay. So that's on there. And then they have, on my summer car, six circles around the side. But six is really quite awkward to do in Minecraft. So I'm thinking more of one, two, three, four at least. And then I might stick five, six, seven, and eight in on the diagonals i think that could be quite quite good so let me fill this in i'll tell you what let me just fill this in because these this is a big circle and i should be back okay so here are the four holes i think i can get another four in like if we went there there oh that's the wrong one that whoops that one that one and that one is that right yeah, that's about right, isn't it? Okay, so we've got eight circles on there. Would it be better if I moved these down by one? Oh, yeah, that looks a lot better. So that one. Oops. That one. That one. They look spaced out a little bit more evenly then. So we've got eight circles in there. And then there are three. <laughs> they have three, but I'm not doing three in Minecraft. Not a chance. We'll have one there. One there. One there. And one there now this is the flywheel okay the clutch which goes on next is made of three different parts i written them down the clutch disc the clutch cover plate and the clutch pressure plate to be honest with you i don't really know which one's which <laughs> we're just gonna build them uh ooh, hold on yeah i need to get some pictures up i forgot about that yeah there's no way i'm gonna be remembering how to build three parts that i don't even know they're really quite easy and basic but it doesn't really matter so the first one fits around this hole this hole in the middle sort of pokes through it so i'm going to use a different brown again maybe even like an orange just to make it stand out a little bit more you know this one's just on the edge of sort of, oops on the edge of brown i think i'll go with that just so it stands out that little bit more and this bolts onto here so i'm going to want to have probably bolts onto them both actually but no, we'll, we'll just go round there like that. So that's going to be sort of the edge of this first one. Let's go around there. Build it up in sections. Don't try and sort of go too far ahead without doing the other ones. Because it's really hard to then try and follow it and keep it symmetrical. So I like to do it all in bits. Like that. This one. And then you know exactly where you are and you're always able to keep all the sides symmetrical. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. So I think this one, I guess, would probably be the clutch disc. I'm going to make a guess. I'm going to say this is the clutch disc. Because then the clutch pressure plate will go on and then the clutch cover plate you would assume that the clutch cover plate would be covering all of the rest so there's that one and we can put some little bolts through here to hold these together just because we can i think those four holes that we've got in like there aren't going to be used okay so that's the clutch disc Right, I think. And then we put the clutch pressure plate on it, which is a grey one. So we need to use some different grey blocks here. Uh, we're going to want that one. We're going to want wool. I might just grab all three of them. Okay, so we have a lighter colour in the middle. And then we have a darker colour around the outside. And it's going to be a little bit smaller than the orangey one that we've got here. This middle one, again, is about the same size as this one. I'm going to put the bolts, I don't know if the bolts should go through or not, but I'm going to put the bolts through. And 
and this is going to go on here. Like that. Okay. Uh, and then this has some sort of... Maybe I should change these. We won't have those going through there because these have black. These are like... I'm sure I've seen these before like on a real clutch. These look like almost like mini coils or mini strings or something like that in those. So I'll have those there. And then we want... I think I want to go with a dark, darker color just to have a, a second sort of color on it like that and then we have the really dark well that probably should be the really dark shouldn't it around the outside which is going to go out to here you know that's probably to be honest about the right we'll put that on first hang on that one Clutches are complicated things, and those of you that are in America might not even know too much about clutches, because I know a lot of you guys out there drive automatic transmission cars, so you don't have a clutch, or it's like an automatic clutch, or, you know, however they however they work. Uh, that one. I'm going to leave the dark spots here. I don't really know how how clutches work. I drive a manual transmission car, but I don't know exactly how they work. I don't know if they... Do I have that one in there? No. I don't know if they these parts spin or how exactly they do their thing at all. Now, do I want that this edge one? Where the... Clear. Do I want this edge one to be that block? Let's give it a try. Yeah, I think so. I think that just looks a little bit smarter. And then we have the clutch pressure cover plate. Oh, I, I got a clue. Uh, I think this is actually the pressure plate. The last one that we put on is the pressure plate here. Because I think this is what forces onto the clutch and makes the clutch spin, I think. So again, we'll go back to an orange for this one. And this one, I'm going to start off by going around the edge. Like this and I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker like that oops like this and then it bulges out a little bit so we're gonna come out by a block I'm gonna leave that space there for it to like push up against it if the clutch was engaged that going around there and then we fill this part in here and that hides it all up never to be seen again but we know it's there okay and then it has like little tabs I don't know how I want to do it like that I think that's a pretty cool design just have three and then a one that joins that bit up to the first one so there is our flywheel and clutch on i think that's pretty cool i need to now look about what we're going to do next and if i've got time to put the next piece on okay i forgot this part should have a little window in it so let's just poke out a little window there and then we can see the clutch okay in there that's it now uh the next one we're going to do is the oil pan that goes underneath and hides all of the crank piston stuff and all that jazz underneath here this is literally full or should be in your car full of oil so when these go up and down it lubricates the bottom of these from what i understand so we're gonna go with a light gray wool and we basically just need to run around the edge here now it's a little bit awkward because of this sh sort of part that comes down here do i just remove that because I think this is from the copy and paste, isn't it? You see? I think this is from where we where we had that mistake. And ended up sort of... I don't want to say getting a little bit wrong. But we got a little bit wrong. So let's just take this blue out. 
try not to delete anything we don't want to delete. This one. I want to go up to this height here. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's exactly actually where it should be because it should be halfway through that part of the, the metal there. So we want a little lip that goes around the edge and then we want it to stick out a little bit. So we want it to come out by just a block here. But I think we're going to do a double ring like this all the way around. So that's going to go around there and then it's going to come down a little bit. Now it comes down further on the side of all of our pulleys. It comes down quite a lot further. It's like a like an L shape almost so let's let's first run around the edge here it's not too far and we're only two blocks thick so it shouldn't take too long so we have this one down here how's the flywheel look on the map yeah yeah, yeah i like it i can see it flywheel in the clutch you see a little bit of gray poking through there and everything i have that one and that one oops that one and that one I don't think I need to bother about this section because that is probably fine how it is anyway. Oh no, it should go along here. And then up that side. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. And that one. That one. Uh, oh no, that's not that bit. So down here. So many bits now uh, are, are connecting together. It's looking really cool, but it's it's quite hard to um, distinguish between like where I am when I'm not looking directly where I should be at it. Okay, so these are along here. And that one. And that one. And then we've got this little final corner part. That should just join up nicely. Up to there. Beautiful. Now, need to do a few rings of just this one. Now, we've done the lip that I wanted. Just so it, it gives a little bit of depth. But we need to come down... How many blocks? Let's do a small section here. We want enough so we cover the bottom of these. So we need to at least go down to that block right there. And remember that we'll have a little bit of a, a bottom on it. So like the bottom would be something like that. It has a little bit of curve on it. Nope, I think that's one block too low. I think that would be about right. And we'll probably go with that one, that one. And then the bottom. Still probably a little bit too low now. I could probably raise this up by one. I'm trying to like get in line with that part. Again, still still potentially a little bit low. Uh, we want this to just be above the flywheel. So about where my cursor is here. So that's in line, so it's this block that we want. So that's where we want the bottom of this section to be, and then the other side goes a little bit lower. So we could have it like that, with a little curvature. I think that's right, so that's how far we need to go. So I need to drop it down by one, two, three, four, five blocks. I'll do that all the way around. I won't let you guys sit through that with me, and I shall be back. All right, so I've got it down all of the way. So we've got the nice sort of thin part of the oil pan on. That's about where we want to stop it before it goes down to a deep pan with the like plug in the bottom over there. So let's just stick the uh, the bottom on here. We'll go with that one. Hook. All the way over to that one. Boom. And that should put the bottom on it. Now it's a little bit square on the corner here, so I'd like to just round that off just a little bit. We could do something like that. So it just makes it a little bit round. It doesn't make it quite as square then. That one and 
that one. But apart from that, that part is, is really, really quite flat. And then down here, it goes deep uh, or, or further down. This is what this sort of L shape we were talking about at the front. I like this as well. It's a little bit of a, of a rounder shape on the back on this side than it is on that side. And I like that. So let's go down now further. Probably not quite that far. It's really hard to tell when you're this close. It goes down about three times what that is. So if that's five, we want this to be about 15, between 15 and 18. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's go with 17. We said, let's go with 16. We said between 15 and 18. And if we imagine a little bit of a curve on the bottom, if we, yeah. No, we'll go down to 15 and then we'll do the little curve underneath it. So we'll go with that one. I'm going to go all the way to here for the moment and just see if that's the right, like, length that we want here. This is about a quarter of it. So if that's the full length, that's about halfway. I want to shave off three or so blocks off there. Set. Yeah. So again, we'll back off. We'll find the middle point, which is about here. And then the middle point of that is about there. That's about right. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So then the bottom of this will again do the block like that. And a block like that. We'll run this over this side. that one and then this joins back up this side excellent this can now close up to there and close up on this side and it's just about sort of filling in the last few sections uh, that one to that one uh, what do I want to do here I want to round it off a little bit so we'll just have this on here first. And then I think, do I want another one on there as well? Yeah, I think so. And then we'll put another one like that. Whoops. And up here okay and then we can fill that middle part in from this one to that one so then the front drops down nicely I like that I like that on this side here we go from that one to that one uh, I'm gonna have to drop this down by hand here for the first one that one to that one same on this side well wow, what's some real progress that we've done today though I don't know if we've gone a little bit over time or something but it seems to have gone really quick which is why I just carried on going and then finally that one to that one sweet and then the bottom so again, the bottom will look a little bit square at first, but we'll do it and then we'll round it off a little bit afterwards. We want to just run around the outer edge. And then fill in this bottom section. I'll miss out like one row, but that's fine. This little one here. So how square are we looking? A little square on this side. I, do we just take that one to that one? We make a little L. And the same on this side. Make a little L. So now that looks like a little bit more of a nice curve. We'll change that one to that. That one to that. And then this side as well looks really square. So I think we'll do this one first. Uh, 
that one. Oops. And then just take those two out, replace one of the blocks. I think that's pretty good. That one, that one, replace that one. The oil cap goes on this side. Ah, where's the... I do need the middle now, though. Hang on. That's the middle. Okay. So we have now the drain cap in here. Three block, three by three, or is that too big? That's probably about right. It's probably not too far off. Just move it over by one block, though. So dark under here, I do apologize. And we'll put a little, I don't know, slightly darker plug on it. And there we go. There's the oil drain plug. Excellent. All right. That, oop, I nearly fell off my chair. That is the next part of the engine completed. It's now completely sort of finished, if you like, underneath. Uh, we've just got sort of tops to put on and stuff, but it's really getting there. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.